Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here. So we've got a question from a fellow boater. He's asking, uh, would you be able to show me how to set up a battery monitor, especially in relation to the shunt? Good question, because um, let's be honest, battery monitors are probably one of the most commonly missed installed uh, devices on a boat. Uh, when we go aboard so many boats that were invited as electrical audits or doing projects or scope outs or surveys, um, it's surprising to see how many times the battery monitor shunt is actually not properly installed. The shunt is a device that actually measures current. Um, and it's a device, it's a choke point. It's a single connection in the electrical system where it captures all the amps going in and all the amps going out. Amps going out are loads, so that would be running a water pump, lights, uh, your inverter, and amps going into the battery would be your charging amps. So that can come from your alternator, could come in from uh, a battery charger, can also come in from solar. And the shunt is one single device uh, that measures all of that. All right, so now let's have a look at a diagram and see how this all plays out. So where's the battery monitor on this page? The battery monitor, and specifically the, the item that we're wiring is the shunt, and it's right here. So the shunt is this device here. Notice how the battery is at the bottom, and then at the top, we've got a DC negative distribution. So the shunt is basically a single choke point that stops counts all the current going in and out of the battery, okay? So that's where that is. All right, so now that we know what a battery monitor shunt is, and by the way, a shunt is this little device right here, right? It's a choke point, so it counts all the amps coming in and out. So now let's look at it on a diagram. All right, so where is the shunt? The shunt is this device right here on the diagram. So I'm circling here with my little laser pointer. And notice here the battery's right here, and that's the house battery. But notice how there's no negatives connected to the house battery. All that negatives are actually connected right here. They're actually connected under the DC negative distribution. So the trick is, and the question is, well, where does my DC negative for my engine battery connect, right? And you've got two choices. So should I, for example, bring back the DC negative right here, or instead of that, go all the way and bring it back to the battery? So what happens is a lot of boaters, right? And it's not our faults because it's confusing. It's hard, are simply joining the negatives together and they're going battery to battery to battery. Why are we doing that? We're doing that to have it common. So here, look at my little pointer. So this battery here, the battery negative is right here. And you could actually follow that and go right to the battery negative of the house battery. But by doing that, what are you doing? You're bypassing that shunt. Notice again, I'm highlighting the shunt right? The shunt's right here, right? That shunt cannot be bypassed. You need to bring the negative, again, from the engine battery, and you have to bring it back to the DC negative distribution right here. And by doing that, you're making sure that you're not actually going to have engine battery negative be calculated as part of your house DC negative. And that is how you wire a battery monitor shunt. Also, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe. Um, it honestly it does, it does help us to know that all this time that we're investing is actually we're reaching a lot of voters. And I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me.